Hi, 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 and welcome to Dubbing 101. I thought I'd do this video for those of you who are just starting out in the dubbing world. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Maya, and I have about 20 years experience in the world of dubbing. I'm a voice actress, dubbing director, translator, musical director, and member of the Order of Secret Dubbing Ninjas. That's not a thing yet. Fun fact, Hebrew is my first language. English is not. So there's really no reason for me to be talking like this. But enough about me. Let's talk dubbing. Some of you are new to dubbing. And to you, I say welcome, grasshoppers, to the enchanting world of dubbing. A world where Smurfette is also called la Strumfette or la Bouffetta or the Hebrew the deceit. Whether you're planning to dub a YouTube beauty vlog or a theatrical masterpiece, we think it's important to know the basics. So let's go over the milestones of a dubbing project. So a traditional dubbing project begins with gathering the materials available for the dub. First and foremost, your music and effects track, or m &E. This can range from one stereo track that includes everything but the original dialogue to separate tracks for each element in your content, music, effects, foleys. If you're not in possession of any of this, don't sweat it. Deep Dub Go will separate your dialogue from your m &E for you. It's like magic. The transcript or the original script, who is saying what in your content? In the traditional dubbing world where this is not available, it is often required to have a person listen and transcribe. I find that to be insane. So translation is pretty straightforward, but adaptation is where you truly localize your dub. For example, what would you name SpongeBob SquarePants in a country that has no pants or squares? So depending on the nature of your content, choosing voices for your dub can look like getting tests from studios and talents, or it can be done in five minutes by browsing through Deep Dub's own voice bank, or just keeping the original voices and just changing the language. So if you know me, you know I love my studio time. And traditionally, recording sessions are at the heart of any dubbing project. There's usually a dubbing director and precast talent and sound engineers all ensuring the quality of the recording and the performance. In Deep Dub Go, you are all of those people. No pressure, you got this. An audio mix and dubbing is a process of combining your dubbed dialogue with the original music and effects to make it sound like one single harmonious sound unit. This is done by audio professionals using professional tools. In Deep Dub Go, you can prepare your project to be mixed outside of the platform, or if your project doesn't require any fancy schmancy sound wizardry, you can just use the automatic mix Deep Dub offers. A dubbing project can be delivered as audio or video and in many different files and formats. Deep Dub Go supports almost all of them. So all the processes described here occur automatically by Deep Dub Go, but you have the power to edit and customize as much as needed. Up to you. So there you have it, Dubbing Ninjas. Everything you need to know about dubbing to get started. Now go, be free. You dub the hell out of that beauty vlog.